I did the Spider and the Fly exhibition mm -hmm. um, with uh, Nick Ravenswood from the Laudanum Project and um, uh, I had originally seen them perform a play called Ballad of the Plague Doctor mm -hmm. um, and I guess the style of that performance, it's a little bit Victorian era, a little bit um, dark, a little bit of suspense, a little bit Jack the Ripper sort mm -hmm. of feel. And um, I love that performance. And then after doing the exhibition, I went back to see the show again uh, because I loved hearing his language. And um, Nick approached me after the show and said, I've looked at your artwork on um, Facebook and I'd be really interested in doing something further with you. I've written this story and um, I wondered if you'd want to do a graphic novel together. And a graphic no novel basically is a story um, told through images and it has some words in there as well. And um, so I read the... I read the story and just loved it and thought I could do this. I could do these images mm -hmm. um, and make this work and would love to work with him because I really loved um, the way that he wrote. So I put together a couple of drawings and, um, and showed Nick and he was really pleased. Uh, he went and spoke to a publisher who was a friend of um, a friend of his and she was really pleased as well and saw a lot of potential in his writing as well as the images mm -hmm. and and put the idea of putting the two together she thought could work brilliantly so um, basically we're going to be putting together about 20 images that go alongside the story we are going to include perhaps more words than you would traditionally use with a graphic mm -hmm. novel um, but we don't, we don't want to lose that language because it, it, it's really poetic, it's really evocative language that's going to work beautifully with the um, images. So I've been working on uh, a main pitch image plus the two that I've done and once we've got that organised we'll take it to the publisher and see how we go. But um, we've heard, had already had really good feedback for it. Um, the idea is that we publish the book, have Nick's performance, the Laudanum Project's performance at mm -hmm. the same time, um, and also have an exhibition of the artworks as well. So it's a pretty big launch of the three things all at mm. the same time. Um, yeah, I'm really excited about the challenge of it. And, and the drawings themselves at the moment, are they're, they're, they've got beauty in them, but they've also got suspense and shadows and a slight eeriness to them. Mm -hmm. uh, and people seem to be responding really well once they see the images. So I think it's going to work really well. well that sounds really exciting. Yeah. Um, I can't wait to see it. Yeah, great. Mm -hmm. Okay, and what size do you think the book will be published in, in the final format? Well, um, I'm my drawings that I'm working on are sort of quite large. Yes. Um, but... The idea is to reduce those down. Uh, I, ideally, A4 would be the best in terms of people being able to um, see the images in enough detail. Mm -hmm. um, and the facing page, you know, uh, would have his words on as well. So you're looking at about A4 size. Yeah, it should be clear enough for people to see. So sort of like a storybook, but it's very um, grown up. Mm -hmm. 